Spencer for an iron head note on a backpacking trip. We're going to do 22 kilometers and camp out overnight. So, my backpack, Tripper's got his. I'll bring it with me. What are you eating? It's a nice fall day. We're getting a break in the weather. It's been storming like crazy. Today's the only day that's not supposed to rain until tonight. So we'll get to camp and it'll rain, but that's okay. Look at these colors. Let's go. This way, bud. Mm hmm. What is it, buddy? Is that the lake? Want to get a drink? Come on. This way. Right here. Right here. Come on. Hey, look. Trevor, get a drink. We got the fall colors, but we also got the fall weather. A little stormy. So, how you guys been? I know it's been a while since I posted a video, and even longer since I shot one. The past few videos I shot, were, uh, or that I posted, were from the summer. Um, been busy. I was away for a couple weeks, working on something really cool. Unfortunately, I can't tell you what it is right now, but I promise it's very cool. You'll be excited, and as soon as I can tell you about it, I will. You guys will be the first people I can tell you about it. You guys will be the first people I'll tell. Uh, you can probably look forward to that information sometime in early in the new year. But all is well. Tripper and I are doing good. You can expect to see lots more videos regularly now. I do have a couple more canoe trips in the books. It's the end of September. As you can see by the colors. It's prime camping time. It's prime canoe tripping time. Prime time to be outside for me. So I do have a couple more canoe trips in the books. Just little ones, but for the most part, it's gonna be back at the fort. It's gonna be bushcraft camps with Tripper, hiking with Tripper, lots of fun stuff until the snow flies. And then once that happens, winter camping videos. Just look at the leaves. Hey Tripper, what do you think, buddy? My good boy. What are you doing? You're gonna get all your stuff all wet, man. He's carrying his sleeping pad and his food, his leash, his water bottle, a couple other things. I got a sleeping bag for this reason, <laughs> for this very reason. <laughs> it's about 7 in the morning, that's why it looks a little dark still. Hey, hey, are you done? What are you doing? You're wild. You're wild. And he's off. Okay. Okay. That's what I mean. I'm fully loaded, hiking, and still full of piss and vinegar. Running down trails, boy. Running down trails, boy.
You good boy. Tripper, sit. Sit. Tripper, sit. What are you doing? Sit. You good boy? Okay, go. <laughs> go on. I'm not trying to fight you. Go. <laughs> He's wild. Get that stick. Get that stick. Get it. Get it. Scissors that stick, bro. Scissors it. Alright, I'm going. Such a good dog. Tripper, Tripper, what is it? Hey, buddy. Look at his ears, he can smell something. Moosey or what? All right, come on. We literally have leaves falling off the trees right now. I absolutely love being outside. I love being outside at this time of year. I could smell the leaves, watching them fall, just seeing these colors. Man, it's playing tricks on my eyes. There's so many different colors out here. It makes the whole ground have like this reddish pinkish hue. It's awesome. Bud, I'm a good boy. So here's looking inland, and that's all maple, yellow birch, and then you come in closer to the water, you get into the cedars and the hemlocks, and then there's the lake. And that that big old beast, and that beast. Balsam firs, white pines, black spruces, stuff like that. White pines will grow up in the hills too, though. This is so pretty. Did I mention this is so pretty? Look at this. Oh, I'm so lucky to be out here. Ooh, this way, bud. Oh no, get out of the water. That was silly. Hey, come out, come. Come. Thank you. Oh, it's sprinkling out too. You're gonna get everything soaking wet, man. You're gonna be so cold tonight. Just getting everything soaked. It's not like it's warm out. But he's happy. <laughs> dumb, dumb. <laughs> it only got a little bit, it's got a lot of particles in it. I don't want to clog up my filter. Thanks for that, Tripper. Okay, 
Okay, this is kind of cool. Trail is dedicated to first attempt. I think that's how you say it. Hugh McKenzie, who survived 27 days lost in his area after his Gloucester Meteor jet aircraft crashed in Helen Bar Lake in early July 1946. To access this trail, I had to start on a different trail. Okay, so here's where the real fun starts, I guess. This trail is way, way more narrow and less maintained, which is perfect. It's exactly what I want. That's a shame. I'd love to read this, the McKenzie Interior Trail Visitors Register, and I'd love to sign it as well, but unfortunately, it's been left out in this broken box in the rain. It's got pencils. It's got pencils still. That's unfortunate. I love to read these things. I got the old um, interior cabin on Old Woman Lake in Lake Superior. Okay, well, back in you go there. Good job. Good job, wooden box. On the trail proper now, Trepper. Hey, big guy. On the trail props. There's my plane above. And that sure looks moosey in there. Very moosey. The plane, Trooper, the plane. Totally different terrain now. Up in the highlands, Trip. Up in the highlands, big guy. Ah. Some more fungus here. I'll make a point to show all the weird ones I find. So we're coming out of the young maples now and back down to in some, to into some more mature trees. I just wanted to show you guys this yellow birch. Look at this massive, massive yellow birch. Now, some people might confuse this for a maple because of the big thick plates, but I promise you, this is yellow birch. And the bark is still very flammable. And just to prove it to you, might take a second, but then once she's going, she's going. Anyways, yellow birch and tripper's digging. Truffle dog. So this is very common. He digs, 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 and sticks his nose right as far hard as he can into the hole that he dug in. Inhales as much as he can. I don't know. He's got dirt all up in his nasal cavities for sure. Always does it, but he seems to love it. Like he's smelling for something. I swear he's like digging up roots. Truffle dog. Truffle dog tripper. TDT. You know what TDT yeah. I'm just gonna stick his snout, snout right in it. Tripper the trip. You tired? It takes a lot out of you, hey? Like a boy? <coughs> oh yeah? What are you saying? 
What are you trying to tell me? What's going on? That's your tail making that noise. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're coming out to this marshy spot. Looks like. Let me get a drink. Good oh boy, come on. Looks like we're gonna skirt on like a little dike or something here. Yeah, there's water on both sides of me. Good oh boy, come on. Probably lots of beavers and stuff. This way, dude. This way. Well, this is different in here, man. Bet you this is a beaver dam I'm walking on, an old beaver dam. It's wet, that's for sure. Wow, look at that forest. Oh, mushrooms. This is a really pretty forest. I'm expecting elves to come out. Little woodland creatures. Hey? Okay. Little woodland elves in here. What is it? Man, this place is magical. Looks a little berry. Oh, berry. I will talk with baritone in my voice. I will sing with baritone in my voice. To scare off all the berries so I don't have to walk around yelling, hey bear, anymore. Check it out, this is like a coral fungus. For size reference. Weird, eh? Go. Oh. Icky blob. Joey real stucky, yeah. Oops, leave it, leave it. Oh, that's Look at me, I can do it too. I actually can't. Getting some elevation now. Woo. He smells something. Check out this big scroll of birch bark. Who needs hiking poles? <sighs> Beautiful white spruce up in the high grounds. Black spruce tend to be in the low grounds with the club shape on the top. Whereas white spruce, more Christmas tree shape. Okay, so not that it's a big deal or anything, and I don't mind. 
I'm just letting you know this is what I mean by not maintained. There's trees down all over the trail and that is not an issue. It's just well, well different than the other trail. Well different. So many mushrooms this time of year too. Fungi. Could make a dad joke there. Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Oh, it's getting windy, Trevor. Some leaves is falling right quick. Right quick. And just as I thought, moose in the area. Banging in your area. So there's moose here. And it's the rutting season, so we'll keep an eye out. Hey, big guy. Wow, look at that stump. That is one big old stump. Beauty colors too. It's amazing. In this stump, there's other things growing. There's wintergreen right there, for example. There's a balsam fir tree growing. A white spruce tree growing. And a deering. All out of a very large old stump. Okay, that's a big tree. White pine, it looks like. Or at least it was. Thick, thick bark. You could use this for shelter. Look at that big plate. It goes all the way up. Wow, you could use that for shelter, for fire building, a lot of things. Just a platform to get off the ground. That's a super useful piece of uh, tree right there, resource. Nice. We don't need that. We have modern technology, Tripper. We have modern technology on this trip, which is nice to have in this bright red backpack. But we'll do something like that soon enough. This is the season. This is the season. No bugs. Good temperatures. Crazy dogs. <laughs> I gotta fix this, buddy. Wait, no, no, come here, come here. I gotta fix this. Super uh, sloppy on this side, dude. Sloppy Joe, slop, sloppy Joe. Good boy. Being such a good boy, Tripper. Being a good dog. Sloppy Joe, slop, sloppy Joe. Oh, he's in grinders. All right, go. Come on, good boy. Let's go. I no longer think Tripper has a Chad voice. Tripper 110, oh no. Oh no. That's the trail. Oh man. It looks like we are getting wet. Wow. Maybe I can go around. That's flooded right out. Oh my goodness. Wild. Okay, so that's what it is. The beavers literally dammed, dammed it up right there. And that's now a pond. Okay, this trail is gonna disappear if uh, people stop coming on it. On the map, it looks like it kind of goes forward and hooks around, and I haven't even come to that that dude's campsite yet, and I've been walking for quite some time, so I, I must be making slower time than I thought, because at first, it was pretty flat ground, and I was, I was going quick, and I made a lot of time up on the map. Anyways, it looks like it hooks around over here. I might get lucky. I might be able to skirt. Uh, oh, clean water, perfect. I might be able to skirt um, that water I might have been able to skirt that water and ended up on the trail still, but we're gonna oh we're gonna have to do some searching to get on the trail 
but I am going to fill up with water here while I can because this is some nice flowing stuff. water that I've come to since I've been here. So I'm going to clean my uh, clean my filter out and I'm going to drink as much water as I can. I'm going to drink my fill here and uh, and then fill up and keep this full because uh, it's less water around than I thought there was. There would be. And it's still not that clean. So check this out, look at how high up this beaver. So that's like four feet to there and then to there. So the, that's beaver chew for sure. Look at how high up it is, seriously, that's huge. It's, a, it's crazy. We started working on it there too. So that's obviously from the winter time when the snow is up super high and they're able to get a good uh, height off of it. Oh my God, this dog. What are you doing? Come on, let's go. Whoa, nice jump, buddy. This is so slippery. Go there, then there. <laughs> I cut my tongue. I bit my tongue. Oh look! Ba bam Okay, all is well. We're back on the trail. That was a fun little detour. Good little water and snack break. And bite my tongue break. Look at an ostrich. Part dingo, hyena, Tasmanian devil, velociraptor. And you can add ostrich to the list. Are you an ostrich dog? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The moose poop is getting bigger the higher we go. <sighs> I, uh, I put my rain jacket on at the last stop there because I was chilled. And now I was just completely uphill from there. <laughs> We're not fat energy, buddy. <sighs> Even he's going slow up it. Now oh, we're getting into some oaks up in here. Up in here, up in here. Y'all gonna make me look at leaves. Look at him on point there. What a good looking dog. Coming out to another one of these clearings. I think this is called Bear Mountain. There's supposed on my on my map it says it's called Bear Mountain anyways. So there should be a lookout soon. The last time I was at a place called Bear Mountain, it was in New York, maybe an hour or two outside New York City when we were trying out for the show alone. And while we were on Bear Mountain, the crew went and got us a bunch of rabbits that we had to clean. And then a bear came on Bear Mountain because it smelled the rabbits. So Bear Mountain one and one for bears. We'll see if we make it two and two. Hope! Hope! Coming through. Coming through. Two big guys you don't want to mess with. Coming through. You don't want to step with. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, oh. We are on a trail. It's just littered with moose poop. I don't know that this is the lookout. Be careful, buddy. It's slippery. Get away from the edge, please. Hey, come here. Come here. Good boy. 
super slick rock right now. Seriously, very, very slick. Slicker than snot, as Doug would say. Okay, here we go. This is looking very promising as a lookout. Whew! Getting my workout. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go, beauty. We got colors, we got contours. We got a great view. We're gonna stop here and relax. Come here away from the edge, big guy. Hey, trap. Come. Good boy. I need you to heal, okay? Hey, Trevor, heal. Good dog. This way. Heal. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Heal with me. Oh, okay. It's not such a bad drop. Never mind. You're good. I thought it was right here. Stay back, though. Stay back. Oh, man. I didn't even look up. Oh my goodness, this is so gorgeous. Oh, look at the colors. Trip, stay up. Look at the colors, guys. I can't believe this. Stay back here. Trip, come. I need you to stay away from the edge, buddy. Okay, good boy. Good boy. Wow. This is unreal. So much wilderness around here. All beautiful colors and contours. Oh my God, look in the distance. Look far, far in the distance. Look at all the contours. Well, this place definitely warrants a snack break. We're going to have a snack. off you for a minute hey hey good boy get this thing off you get you a little food he's been drinking the whole time out of mud puddles and lakes and streams and rivers and oat flows he's fine for for water there's some bugs up here <laughs> some black flies up here he's chasing <laughs> he ate uh there you go he ate a big breakfast this morning I've been feeding him my jerky along the way, but he does have his own food as well. Enough for today and tomorrow. It's good that I like I like using this backpack for him. It's awesome. There you go, big guy. Grub away, Merrill. Swing away. Heavy duty plastic bag to keep it dry when he's frolicking in the dank. Try and dry this out a bit as we sit here. This is what he's made for. This is the life that you're made for, Tripper. I'm gonna do more of this with you, big guy. 